Life certainly is interesting. Uh, right now I'm in the throes of uh, writing my thesis, you know, actually writing, you know, my research is sort of done, well, I do some data collecting and stuff like that. But um, uh, um, it's just a, a, academic writing is a certain kind of writing. You know, I've done all kinds of writing, but academic writing is a certain kind of writing. And so I, I was like, well, I needed a break, let's put it that way. Not a break from writing, but, you know, I just needed a little, you know, therapy. <laughs> let's put it that way. Um, so what happened is an essay contest that, that they announced, uh, you have to, to uh, submit it by tomorrow, I think, something like that. And, um, and so, but this, it, it's, it's supposed to, it's an academic institution, but this, this is out of the, um, this uh, Center for Leadership uh, Learning or something like that on, on campus. That I, went, I entered the contest last year for another, another thing about Pan-Africanism. Um, but this time, I guess they wanted to, I don't know, loosen it up or something like that. So the, the nomenclature, the, 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 the rules they have this time is it's not straight academic. It's, it's about a state capture. And so what they're doing is you, have, you write it like a, 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 a newspaper piece, you know, a, a newspaper article or an opinion piece. Well, now, you see, I'm one of those guys that, let me put it this way. I don't really want to take money from South Africans. I mean, you know, the prize money, whatever happens. So that's not my goal in doing these things. I just, just like to write this. I, was, I just like to write. Um, so anyway, uh, so in doing this thing, all of a sudden, uh, you know, I was doing the opinion piece, and all of a sudden I said, hey, uh, in this opinion piece, I wanted to, um, well, I wrote a scenario. Let's put it that way. Um, of course, my background is in theater, you know, uh, um, uh, well, in playwriting, and I haven't written a play in a very long time. Um, but I do audio drama, which I do a lot of adapting. I've been adapting for years and 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 years. And also, I know I direct both audio drama and theater. Okay. So I decided to write a scenario. And I decided to write a scenario. Get this out of the way. And in writing this scenario, this is uh, the paper. Um, well, anyway, the, 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 the paper itself, it starts out, you know, just like a regular opinion piece, but then I go into, uh, I wrote a small, I don't have that with me. Anyway, I wrote a smaller, uh, well, I wrote a, a piece, and the piece turned out to be actually uh, this here. It turns out to be uh, seven pages, see, like that. Uh, oh, this is a six-page one. Oh, okay, this is the one. Ah, six pages, right? And then I had to cut that down to fit into the, the, the nomenclature. What was it? Um, uh, uh, 1,500 uh, words. Uh, but it came from a, a larger piece, you know, a seven-page piece. <laughs> it came from a seven-page piece. But the thing is, in doing this, I wanted to, to address this thing. So I put this thing that nearly full of all this, but you know nearly full of it. Remember? Wait a second. Hold on a second. Look, look. Oh, you go to a place, but you know, just you know, keep the volume up or something like that. I'm going to see my desk floor here. Now, you remember that when I told you the nearly full book that I got bound at uh, Love Dare, the historic Love Dare Press, because it was uh, the book was gifted to me when I was in New York from uh, uh, Professor uh, uh, James Conyer out of, of King University. And so I just went and had it bound. Now, this is the uh, 1984 edition, yeah, 1984 edition. Uh, and there's a new edition that came out last year, or something like that. And they have it. Uh, I know it's available at uh, what is it? ProduceJustice.com. Get the book. Get the book. It's a code book. Anyway, uh, because of that, I wanted to fight them. So I start the, the state the, the state capture piece. Oh, yeah, this is a piece state capture. This is a state capture piece. And it goes to the piece, and then it might really goes into the scenario that illuminates the thing. Okay, that's the structure. It's a contest. Don't worry about it. But I start out by said by quoting Neil Fuller Jr. In other words, I'm slipping him into the academy, into academia. It says, and then that's the famous the quote that he uses, if you do not understand white supremacy, which is racism, what it is and how it works, everything else you understand will only confuse you. And that's from the 1984 edition of, you know, of the compensatory guide, uh, like that. Okay, so I did that. Then I said, wow, and, and I, I enjoyed it. 
and, and so I would, so I, like I said, I had to cut down a piece, so the, the, the longer piece. So I sent it out as a scenario, so I have a certain way of doing stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, well, let me see, what I do is I write by hand first. Do I have my thing? Yeah, I write by hand first. Oh, I'm sorry, I should this thing. I write by hand first. So, for instance, this is, see, this is the, this is the actual script written by hand. Of course, you can't read my handwriting, and sometimes neither can I. So that's sort of like the first draft that I write on a old school, well, ancient school. And then what I do is I type it into, you know, into the computer, right? And that's what, let's call it the second draft. It's really the, well, it's the second draft, right? And then what I do, here really gets strange. Then, because of the modern world, what I do is I send out that imperfect draft, of course, I call it the first draft. I send it out to people that I know, you know? Some people, a lot of people in the theater, just some people I know that are waiting for responses, you know? Now, of course, there's sort of a weird trick in there, but I won't get into it right now. So, so you know, I get back some responses, but then, as I do that, that same, well, just in case the same night, I went home, and, and since this is a two-character piece, I'm not gonna tell you what it's about. Now I'm gonna tell you what it's about. And since it's a two-character two piece, uh, in fact, if you want to know what it's about, I'll leave, um, you can uh, leave a comment, leave your email address or something like that, or I'll give you my email address, you can leave, leave your email and I'll, I'll send you this scenario, I'll send you, I'll send you both the, um, the essay, which is not whatever, and the, this scenario as I, as I finished it. Okay, so I, I, go, to, I go at night and, and, and my wife, who's like, uh, she, she's like fantastic, you know, she's really, like um, English is her second language, but she's very good at, at sort of presentations and theater. And she's a very creative person, and so so we read it off the computer, you know. So we went through and um, you know I read the male part, she read the female part, and then she said, "Well, let's do it again, and we'll reverse parts." Wow, this is smart. Well, I said, "Oh, okay," because as we do, we make, we make the corrections that. I sh well, we make corrections. Well, I make corrections, okay? So then we switch roles. So I played the female part and she played the male part. And that helps a lot. It's a very interesting, interesting process. It's like, it's like when you write a play, you're supposed to have a play reading. Or in a movie script, they say they have a reading like that. So it's like that. And so I finished with that and said, wow, this is interesting. And, and so, so now I have to think that now I did get a response uh, from like my man Nelson in, in, in Atlanta, Georgia. He, he corrects all the, the, the punctuation and the, and the grammatical errors and stuff like that. Unbeknownst to him, you know, I've done that with my wife, but that's good, you know, like that. He shouldn't have, but that's but thank you, Nelson. Um, and then I got a response from at least two of my, my theater buddies, um, my good friend uh, Chris Brandt out of, um, out of New York City. Um, uh, and or was it the Living Theater? What, 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 what's this theater called? Oh, the, the the Medicine Show. Uh, and, and and of course my my my, my partner in theater, uh, David D. Wright, playwright, you know, producer, award winning, blah, blah 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 blah. So he writes too, and they both say the same thing. They say, "Wow, this is interesting. You know, are you going to make it into a longer piece? You know, in other words, make a play out of it." And I'm thinking, uh, uh, I'm thinking, "Wow, this is uh, what I should do. Is I will." You know, when I get to my PhD, I will actually write the whole play and sort of incorporate it somehow into the PhD or as an addendum or something like that, like that. So that was good. But then, yes, I was thinking, you know, my, I haven't done this in a long time. Let me write down my process, at least for audio drama. So I went and I took almost like each line and I commented each line why I wrote it and da da da. So it's like a um, a primer in, in in playwriting and 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 how I do audio drama wise. The, you know how I format audio drama stuff like that. So it was like really, I'm like pumped up. It's really, really interesting. But more importantly, because of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. and because of the situation in terms of also, I, I mentioned in, in my um, in, in, in explaining the thing, I mentioned Yvette Cornell uh, from BreakingBrown.com uh, because she's heavy into reparations and, and, and like that. Neely Fuller Jr. is into you know fighting racism. So I put them, I got both uh, points of view in the piece. And so, you know, again, it's kudos to, um, you know, Miss Neely Fuller Jr. and Yvette Cornell uh, you know, uh, for what they do. So I end up writing this thing, and I'm very, I'm very happy. Wow. But more importantly, this is the most significant thing. Um, I, went to, I, went post, I went to graduate school uh, for playwriting. You know, I'm a theater person, you know. And, uh, but I haven't actually written 
Hey, uh, since, you know, I wrote a lot of plays while I was in school, and a little bit after, like that, and read a lot of other original stuff in the early 80s. But since I started audio drama, I've only really adapted, you know, I've never been a, uh, um, a, um, an original piece. So for just at least 1986, I haven't really written something for myself. And, and as I do these workshops and as I go on, da da da, da teach audio drums like that. So this is actually the first time in like, what, 30 years? I don't know how long it's been, that I've actually written, uh, 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 yeah, Right. This is, I've actually written an original piece, and I really like it, and I hope you do too. If you, if, like I said, if you want a copy, just you know, somehow you know, send me a thing, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you all the all the iterations. You know, the the, uh, um, the, the the essay thing, the 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 longer and the longer form, and also the um, you know, maybe I just essay thing and the and the and the form along with the. Um, um, the explanation of what's done. A present, if you wish, from me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.